Uh, my name is Paul Kim. I'm the head coach for Conan Boys Gymnastics. I started as a high school freshman at Schaumburg High School. Uh, I remember Coach Ruben came through a PE classes and asked, hey, who's interested? At that time, um, I, I didn't know anything about gymnastics, but I wanted to give it a go, and that's how I got my start. And ever since, for over, let's see, over 25, no, almost 35 years, I've been involved with boys gymnastics at Illinois. Our team was a, a pretty good team. Uh, coming in as a freshman, had no experience, no flexibility, more, no strength, but there were also guys who are older guys who has been doing it for several years, and they kind of demonstrated, showed, kind of took me under their wings and told us, uh, all our freshmen, like what they, what we could accomplish going forward. So that kind of motivated me and uh, the rest of the teams, and we stuck together and did a pretty good for four years. Gosh, I still remember, um, uh, it was Rolling Meadows High School, it, it, to meet uh, Vic Evergano's uh, meet that's still going on right now, uh, it was one guy per event, and I was chosen to uh, represent our team doing a floor exercise. And that was the meet that I first time ever did a, a new trick that I've been putting together. So I did a round up, flip flop, one arm, flip flop, one arm, flip flop, uh, back flip. And, and finished with the full, that was the best set I've ever done. And I was so proud that my score, the, I was the only one that was representing that event for that meet, and it was really, really a fun meet. So that's something that I will never forget. You know, I have a very young team, so I have no seniors this year. Um, I have only one junior that's got a three-year experience. The rest of the guys are either first-year gymnasts or second-year gymnasts. And we come to meet like this and they see some outstanding gymnastics who's with the, the guys who are performing and who's been doing it for you know 15 years. So it's struggle because they see other kids performing high-level tricks and they're struggling with their basic tricks. So, but I try to continue to encourage them and let them know that, you know what, you can still do well. You know, learn the, the skills, uh, learn the craft and how to perform it well. So we struggle with the uh, you know, difficulty level of gymnastics, but they're having a lot of fun. Um, the guys that I have in the gym are joy to coach. Well, I, I have done it all, meaning that I've, I'm coaching varsity gymnastics team that are barely able to score 100 to a, a second place or third place in state finals. Um, so I've coached all of them. They all have different uh, uh, challenges that they bring, right? But knowing that uh, we support uh, these boys who, this is only their source uh, sport. This is their sport, uh, which they love, and, and being able to coach them to get to the the next level, next level, getting better and better, you know, for them to see that they're getting stronger, more flexible, they, and having a lot of fun. So, um, seeing that this this sport still provides a, a niche athlete that uh, that they would not be up for, you know, basketball, baseball, track and field, but this is their domain. And, and love seeing that they, they enjoy this gymnastics. It's a discipline, it's a, it's a self-discipline. Uh, you're challenging yourself. Yes, it's a team sport because you're competing with the teammates, competing against another team. But essentially, you're battling yourself, right? You are uh, digging deep in yourself to see if you could get better. You could get better. All the, the difficulties that, that you have, uh, weeks and weeks of not being able to do something, and finally, all that hard work pays off. Uh, so that discipline is, uh, I think, is something that kind of attracts me to this gymnastics. All my formal gymnasts that's coming back, Rather, they're coaching. I have, uh, I think, two or three gymnasts, my former gymnasts who are coaches, head coach, assistant coach. Once they get hooked, this is their life. Uh, we become a lifelong gymnast, and love of the sport is carried through all throughout their lives. And whether they're coaching or volunteering or just a discipline that they were taught while they're in this sport, I think it carries them through, all the way through their careers and whatever they do. This is a unique sport that no other sports could uh, can provide. Uh, from the self-discipline to the s s group of athletes that uh, they would not be out for anything else. This is their sport. And once they come into the gym and spend the time, uh, they just absolutely love the sport. And by taking that away, I, I think you're doing disservice to all those athletes who didn't think that they were an athlete until they come out for a sport. And knowing how the 
they progress throughout the year. They don't have to be a superstar. I've coached guys from freshman year who have done, never done gymnastics to a third place in state finals. Um, things like that don't always happen in other sports. Either you're a naturally talented, you come in as a freshman and starting sprinter and then you go all that. But here, we develop them. And all the camaraderie and the older gymnasts taking care of the under gymnasts, uh, under level gymnasts, and, and it's, it's the things that you don't see often in other sports. I love it. Thank you, sir.